Hello, hello. Um, it is me. I wanted to jump on real quick and do a message because I'm feeling this message. Um, this is like, I don't know. There are times like when I have some kind of like inkling as to what I'm supposed to read about and then someone will say something to me or something and it will confirm that what I'm picking up is correct. Okay. It's just how I work. Okay. Um, but somebody out there has like an ex or something that is just a hot mess. Okay. Whoever this person is, is karmic as fuck. And they've, something's, something's going to have to change when it comes to this person. Okay. Um, or you guys' relationship or something. I mean, whoever I'm picking up on, it feels like a masculine, but it could be a female working in her masculine energy possibly. I'm not sure. I just know that it feels like a vindictive person who is just trying to um trap someone hold them up i know personally i have been in these type of situations okay but it just feels like someone is like i don't think they're necessarily together but i feel like this person energetically is holding on to this other person and it's like it's it's fucking with this other person and it's stagnating them because this this past person is still holding on to this you know other person okay they're 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 stalling them out because they won't let them go energetically uh, but this person wants to extend love somewhere else okay this person wants to be let go this person does not want to be uh held in this energy anymore with this past person they they are they don't this past person is very selfish yeah this person's getting a victory over this past person okay this person is going to move on and they're going to be victorious at moving on. This shit is not going to continue prospering. Whoever this evil ex is or whatever. It could be a family member. I don't know. But somebody's holding on to somebody and they're fucking evil. Yeah, it's a past, a past lover. Or a past person. Somebody that you knew when you was a child maybe. Or someone that you knew when you were... Um, I'm getting some kind of immaturity. This person may have been younger than you. Or you may have been younger than this person. But I'm getting like a manipulative energy off of this shit. It's like, it's like this person is offering this cup of flowers to this person, but I don't know. The energy that I'm getting off this card right now is like this person is just like doing shit to make this person, or they were, they were doing shit just to make them shut up. Okay, they were, they were breadcrumbing the fuck out of this person and manipulating them. This, this energy this past person that won't let go this is all about control this is simply about control it truly honestly is yeah you have the eight of cups walking away hair font in reverse wheel of fortune in reverse okay you were not meant to be in this uh relationship okay or or like i said i don't think you're in this relationship but i feel like you're not meant to um be held up by this other energy you're meant to go forward you're meant to walk away from this person but this person is like energetically holding on they will not let the fuck go this person is so goddamn controlling it's really gonna bite them in the ass in the, in the long run um next life this person is gonna they're gonna go through the same karmic lessons because they are stubborn and they're they're fighting god this can represent god okay they're literally fighting god they're fighting god's plans they're not they're not going with the wheel of karma they're trying to fight the wheel they're trying to fight uh, what's meant to happen they're they're fighting it they're fighting god whoever this is they are literally fighting god and his plan you cannot fight god and his plan this is not going to prosper it will not yeah because this person is going to move forward and be happy they will be happy okay they may even be happy they may reconnect with someone someone that they knew before or something i don't know but they're going to be happy whoever they are because they are going to be released from this demonic fucking energy. And they are going to go forward. Whoever this person is needs to let go. If they don't let go, God is going to remove them. And I mean in a bad way. Okay, this person is watching this other person. This past person is watching them. Um, they don't want them to walk away. Okay. They are... They're watching this person walk away. They don't like it. They do not like it. They're not happy that this person is going to be going into their... Uh, happiness here okay yeah this person is moving away okay from um choppy waters to still waters this person is moving away from this shit because it's it's 
You can't hold up destiny. Who is this person? This could be someone that um, you were married to. Or it could be someone that um, was just like around in your community. Like it's someone that you see sometimes. Like you could bump into them like when you're out and about and stuff. Um, I don't know. But this person, they're just, they're, they're very, mm, I mean, they're fighting God, dude. This person is so, they're so filled with ego. But this person's going to move away. They're going to come into their happily ever after, okay? They're going to get a marriage and they're going to um, have children and be happy, okay? Whoever this is. Uh, this past person, I'm warning whoever this is, they want you bound up. This past person, they want you confused and bound up. They uh, they may have tried to lock you up or they could have had you locked up, okay? One of your options, they could have had you in illusions, bound up in illusions, telling you shit, manipulating you, having you bound up and confused about what the fuck was really going on. But what was really going on was this person was literally isolating you from everyone and keeping you from people. I mean, whether it was literal jail or just like a prison, you felt like you were in a prison with this person. This person was so controlling. And they're fighting God. You, What is wrong with what in the hell? It's like fucking Pharaoh and Moses. It's like, let my people the fuck go. And this person is like, no, I'm not going to let my... Who the fuck are you, man? Yeah, because this person, the one moving forward, is going to release these burdens. They're not going to continue carrying these burdens from this person. This person is energetically fighting God. And they... God, it's going to be a tower, okay? It's going to be a huge tower when this hits. When this person realizes that they cannot fight God. Okay, I'm... Uh, I'm not getting a good energy off this person. I feel like if they don't stop holding on and if they don't get out of the way, God is going to get them out of the way one way or the other, okay? This person really needs to stop. I mean, they need to stop. Because all this shit's about to explode on their ass. This person is an idiot. Okay. The divine is handing you um, a divine love, okay, sent from him, sent from God Almighty. He is, he's handing this to you, okay? So you're going to be able to move forward and get out of this uh, entrapment energy that you were in from this person. There's going to be a big tower, and it's going to lead you to your, um, your cup overflowing, okay? You're going to have multiple blessings. You're going to be extremely stable, extremely happy. God is going to be involved in it. I mean, you're going to be set whoever you're gonna be happy okay you're not you don't deserve this okay if you did and you had to pay your karma or whatever this is long overdue this should have been over a long long time ago but this person this individual won't stop they will not stop clinging and they have to stop they won't stop god and it's like this this should have been over by now okay if they were paying their karma for anything it, they've paid it it's over but this person is still trying to keep them in this karma. And that is super fucked up. I mean, who the fuck? Oh, God. Yeah. It could be a king of cups. Okay, it could be a water sign. Or it could be a father figure. Okay, it could be somebody that has kids. Um, They're watching this person. Um, They know this person is healing themselves. Okay. They know that the angels are helping this person to heal. And they don't like that. Okay? That breaks their heart. How fucked up is that? That that would break someone's heart. That you are healing. Who the fuck does shit like that? Who does that? It's hurting me that you're healing. Okay? Because if you heal, that means that I can't control you anymore. What the fuck is that shit? Now, this person's... They're... I'm telling you, man. Um... And you're going to be moving forward. You're going to be passionately rushing forward. You're going to get the fuck away from this person, okay? You're not going to be bound up by this person anymore. You're going to get away from them. Their plans are not going to prosper because they are not with the Most High. And the Most High is not going to permit what they're doing. Yeah. Whoever you are, you are a healer. Uh, you could be an Aquarius. Um, or you could be a Scorpio. Or you could have both of those in your chart. You could be a Leo. Um, you could be a Taurus. But, um, whoever you are, you are a healer, and you are healing yourself. And this individual does not like you doing that. They don't want you following God and doing the right thing because they are a fucked up person. And I'm telling you, this person is karmic as fuck. They're going to keep going through the same cycle over and over and over and over with different people until they fucking learn to stop trying to control. 
Yeah, whatever they're working on, whatever they're trying to build, it's not going to prosper. It will not happen. It's not going to happen. You, however, whatever you are working on and building on is going to be wonderful and you're going to succeed at it. You're going to have stability from it, whatever it is. Okay? Uh, King of Swords, you're an air sign, whoever you are. Once again, King of Swords is here. Okay? Either it is an air sign that is doing this to you or you are an air sign. Okay, but one way or the other, this person is oppressive. This person is controlling. This person is suffocating. This person literally drains your energy. You get around this person and you're just fucking drained because they are a fucking energy vampire, man. They just want to come around you to fuck with you because... I don't know. I feel like they get they feed off of whatever the fuck they do to you, okay? Whatever kind of upsets they give you it's like they fucking like that shit i don't dude i don't know man but the angels are protecting you you have archangel michael on your side who is way stronger than this individual this individual is going to go down okay because god is he's releasing his angels on their ass okay he's going to release their angels on their ass and they've had it at that point once the angels come this person i don't know what i i guess this divine intervention is going to have to come in this is what this represents as divine intervention. And that's going to have to happen, I guess, because they will not bow to God. And, I mean, you can't do that. This person is being stingy. This person may have built things with you. This person may have monetary things with you. Um, whatever it is, they are greedy with it. They don't want to let it go. Uh, they don't want to let go of whatever it is that you can supply for them or whatever you can, uh, you know, give to them. They don't want to let that go. Whatever you give to them holds value, and they know it. Um, they may treat you like you don't hold value, but you hold value or they would not be so greedy and holding on to you, okay? Something about your energy feeds them. I'm telling you, something about your energy feeds this person. It's a fucking sick energy, man. This person could have you in a third party or, um, or they could have had you in a third party or you could be looking at other options or you could be just wanting the fuck out, wanting out, wanting to go celebrate and be happy for once and get out of this fucking entrapped energy. You want to be happy. You want to celebrate. You feel so stuck right now, whoever you are. High priestess. You could be a high priestess going through this. Male or female. It just means that you're a psychic person. Um... You see the black and the white? It's like the good and the evil are like, you know, good and evil fighting against each other. That's what's happening right now. This person is not working with angels. This person is not working with the most high. This person is working basically for the dark side, okay? Because that's what they've chosen to become. They've they've chosen to hurt someone. This person is going to be in bad health if they don't stop. It could be bad mental health. Um, I don't know, man. I'm telling, uh, this is a warning to whoever this is. If you don't let it go, uh, you could die. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to be frank. I'm just going to be real. Um, if you don't stop holding back this wheel, if you don't stop clinging to the person that does not want to be with you, God may take you out of the picture. And I mean, for real, for real. I, I didn't want this to be like this, but this is how it is. Like, because there has to be karma, okay? Shit's got to be equal, okay? If if you're wishing death and evil shit on someone, it's going to come back on you. That's karma. That's you reap what you sow, okay? Like I said, man, you keep fighting God. God's going to show you who's in control. Mm -hmm. Like, God. Yeah, because whoever it is, they think they have a victory, because they're, they don't want this person to be single and self-sufficient. They don't want them to be on their own. So they're looking at them like, yeah, I got you, bitch. I got you. You're, I got you. But they didn't get anyone. They're getting themselves with their stupid ass. They're going to be in a lot of pain. And they're going to be up crying at night when this person finally uh, gets away from them. And finally does become single. This person is going to be very hurt. Okay. They could save themselves a lot of this pain if they would just let the fuck go. And, I mean, I've given a warning to this person. I mean, if that's what it is, that's what it is. It shouldn't be that way, but that's up to your free will. If you either move the fuck out of the way, or you're going to be moved out of the way. That's just what it is. Because somebody has interest in someone. Someone wants to move forward. Someone has passion about something. 
I'm about to close out this for real because I can't take this, this energy. Yeah, um, judgment has been called on an emperor, okay? So it could be like a, a older man or a father figure or something in your life, or it could be that judgment has been called that you are going to get your emperor, okay? Your, your other half, okay? There's the emperor and there's the empress, okay? They're counterparts, okay? It could be that um, judgment has been called and you're getting your counterpart, or it could be just that um, judgment has been called on whoever this older man is, or woman, it could be an older woman, either way, it's an older person, or you could be older, someone's older than someone else, okay, I know that, um, but if they don't get the fuck out of the way, they're gonna be hurt, and that's the truth, God's warning you, and I mean now, he's warning you right now, as you watch this video, that you better get the fuck out of the way, let this person live their life, or you're, you're gonna lose yours, I hate that it's like that, but you're going to fucking lose yours. When it comes to the balancing act of who is more important and who needs to stay on this earth more, it's going to be this other person. It's not going to be you. You're going to be the one dropped. Yeah, because all you do is spit out illusions. This person speaks truth. All you do is manipulate and lie and cause illusions. Whoever this person is, I'm, I'm telling you, man. You... <sighs> yeah, because this other person has a ten of pinnacles waiting on them. Okay, they've got a legacy, stability, family, blessings, all these things coming in for this person. And you're not going to stop it because it's ordained. So, you, I mean, keep fucking with the angels. Keep fucking with them. Keep trying this shit. See what happens. Warning. This is a warning. I can't control what you're going to do. God can't control what you're going to do. But he sure as fuck can control what he's going to let happen. I know that. All right. But I love you guys. Um, I will be back on later. Like I said, whoever this is, please, for your own safety, get the fuck on. Leave this person alone. I'm trying to help whoever you are. Leave them alone. Okay. But I love you guys. I will be back on later, okay? I just want to do a quick read. Um, I got things I got to do today, but... I will be back on later. Love you all very much. Bye.